MCI today. Good morning, Uganda. Good morning, Gatoya. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? I feel good. Vibrant. I'm ready for today. I love how you're pushing it out vibrant. You know, I'm an advocate of positive vibes day in and day out. But speaking of positive vibes, is the weather also positive vibes to you? Because black has not been a color that has been worn often these days. But I see you turning up in black. Yes. I mean, the weather is becoming a little bit chilly. So... It's definitely sponsoring my outfit. It's well, I, for me, I think weather doesn't define my fashion. And on weather, Makere Chikoni is one of the places experiencing the sweet weather that's sponsoring Gatoya's outfit. But beyond weather, change and journalism is taking place in true, true. this area as we see the Media Challenge Fellowship Program kickstart its activities Gatoya, you have been on ground. Tell us what's happening there. On ground? I was on ground the first two days, and I wish I was a fellow two years ago. If I, I believe I wouldn't be in studio with you today. Those, those students are learning a lot. They are going to be the future of journalism. Uh, they've discussed a lot. They've had great, great facilitators, and I've, they've made me wish I could be uh, a fellow right now. Well, you see it for yourself. It is journalism. It's weather. It is positive vibes. It's journalism today and how it changes the world, which will inform our discussion. So stay tuned. We have so much for you for now. Jimmy Akankwasa with the News Bulletin. Welcome to News at MCI. My name is Jimmy Akansham as a fast the top stories. Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among promises cases, cases here, casual workers to get paid. 2024 MCI Fellowship kicks off in Hygiene. News later. The Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among promises cases here, casual workers to get paid. This comes at a time when hundreds of KCC workers storm the gates of parliament in protest accompanied by the KCC councillors demanding for their pay for the last four months. NSSF benefits and renewal of their contracts. The casual workers blame KCC for the delayed payment, saying casual workers, uh, I beg your pardon, the casual workers blame KCC for the delayed payment, saying the city authority wants to terminate them sending many to join Seven Hills. The Speaker of Parliament has promised casual workers to engage the Minister of Finance and KCC management to ensure that they are paid and their contracts renewed. Away from that, 20, uh, 20, 24, 26 students from different institutions are gathered at Hotel Jeffrey in Chikoni. The seventh cohort of the Media Challenge Fellowship Program is currently ongoing as today marks the third day of the program. Louis Shamim is live at the hotel to give us the updates. Yes, Louis. Thank you, Jimmy. My name is Louise Shamim, reporting live from Jeffrey Hotel here in Makere Chikoni, where the 26 fellows that were carefully selected from different universities are gathered for the seventh cohort of the Media Challenge Fellowship. This is an annual program that aims at equipping students with practical skills to keep them relevant in this revolving world. Over the past two days, the students have been engaged in very informative sessions that include self-discovery, solutions journalism. They went ahead yesterday to understand where journalism has gone wrong, a session that was conducted by Mr. Daniel Otaya. We get to speak to Mr. Moses, who is an alumni of this program and currently working closely with the MCI. Mr. Moses, thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. It's my pleasure. Good morning to you. Mr. Moses, we understand you've been a fellow. So what are those specific skills that you acquired during your fellowship that have been very relevant in your journalism career? Um, about the fellowship, um, I would say I acquired almost the skills that were availed for me. But mostly um, for me to uh, put my photography skills like to prowess. So um, my production skills in regards to storytelling, I can that, I mean that I can attribute to um, the fellowship for shaping me and putting me on uh, the, the kind of um, stage that I am apparently in storytelling and production as well. 
Thank you so much, Moses. Moses is working with MCI and one of the best journalists in the country. So the students are all geared up for day three of their Media Challenge Fellowship Program, where they're going to have their very first session conducted by Mr. Antonio Chisembo, who is the head of training at this fellowship program. And they're going to cover a topic of online journalism. We'll definitely keep you up to speed with whatever is going to be happening through all the sessions and the trainings. Just, Just a quick one. I'm told students are having four meals a day. How could that be true? I've definitely talked to a few students early morning and they confirmed that they are having five meals a day. Five. In their defense, they said they are having a lot of information loaded, so these bills are exactly Thank you very much. I should be joining you in just a few minutes from now, right? And away from that international scene, the UK's Minister for Armed Forces has promised to meet the family of King and woman Agnes Wanjiru, allegedly murdered by British soldiers in 2022. Agnes's body was found in a septic tank near British military base in Nanyuki, Kenya. Chad opposition leader Yaya Dilo has been killed in a shot out with security forces days after government blamed his party for a deadly attack on country security agents. Anticipation continues in Russia as the country heads to the polls on 15th, 17th of March, 2024. Thanks for watching us. I've been Jimmy Akanshemezi. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. As I am aware this morning, we're having the show on IMS ITV today. And we're gonna be expounding more on different topics. Back to Victoria and the beautiful lady. You're with. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for keeping the masses informed. Journalism today. What about journalism? What about we it? will get to know more about that as the show unwraps. True. We say that the Media Challenge Fellowship Program kickstarted its activities, and in these first days, we see that the pillars of journalism and the major foundations are being communicated to these students and one of them which we are going to base on our topic today is solutions journalism. But in this way, journalists are just reporting on issues of teenage pregnancy, finding solutions to crime, to politics, but what about the problems in journalism? And you could name them. We've left it to you on our social media platform platforms share with us what other problems journalism is facing today and how they can be solved gatoya what are some of those problems for you um we could name the problems we could go on and on the list is endless when i was at the mci grounds yesterday at the hotel i was very shocked at how these problems are always spoken about but solutions journalism is the answer to this. What are the solutions? According to a number of people replying to our social handles, Winter says hit and run journalism. Reporters should be assigned specific roles so that they focus on one thing to create impact. I believe this is amazing. Are we all over the place? Do you think we need to be specifically assigned to things? If people say so, then we are actually <laughs> yeah, distributed yeah, all over the place. And yeah, we yeah. have so much to do to find those particular niche that yeah. we measure in so that we can be more impactful. True, true. And okay. uh, we have a faith here from, tweet, from X, pardon me, saying too much media freedom. True. Journalists are reporting on whatever they want. And she yeah. says, regulation should be emphasized. For example, the Computer Misuse, Misuse Act. Act. Yes. And you know, it takes us to the question of even policy making, regulation. Are they just running everywhere? How do we see True. that they are actually True. held True. accountable? True. I believe so. I believe so that the, the journalists should, be, uh, should emphasize their, their their activity on on social media and everything Therefore, keep keep the conversation ongoing on true, our social true. media platforms and now we have katongole you look so good in that african print uh, thank you. Good morning. It's an African print for an African man. I'm an African. Hello, love who I am. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm here with the sports today. Uh, good morning. My name is Katong Leonard, and uh, this is the sport on MCI today. Uh, first, I'll talk about the Uganda Premier League. The Uganda Premier League is key. Is 
uh, March day 20 was played and Chitara Football Club is still at the helm of the table of the Uganda Premier League. A bull is in position number two. The players at bull, they are being paid heavy allowances whenever they win a match. I think this is motivation that keeps them going and winning matches. And the big boys, the big boys are not performing well. I don't know what has happened. KCCA not performing well. We then with Katanga, with the young boy in Ismail, they're not performing well. Muhammad Shaban is banging in the goals, but the goals are not enough to bring the points. So when you look at the Uganda Premier League, it seems Chitara and Bull are in a race of their own. AC Villa, traditional giant, the biggest club in Uganda's football history. Ah, hey, they're having a season that is on and off. When, we, uh, when, when Kakande performs, they move. When Umar Rutalo performs, they will move. When these two boys don't wake up, Villa doesn't wake up at one kulukuku. I don't know. Maybe they're sharing a ground with Express. They are rival for all time. But we wait to see how the league continues to unfold. Uh, in more news, local sports still. The basketball league. The national basketball league. Guess what? Nam Blazers, after receiving 20 millions from British insurers, they face their rival, who we call the dictator, City Oils. City Oils are in a quest for their ninth championship. But my friends, City Oils have got the players. When you look at Jimmy Enabu, when you look at Tony Drieleba, when you look at Ivan Muhuezi, when you look at uh, Titus Okello, these people are good. They are good, and they are looking for their ninth, ninth title. So we are waiting to see what happens. KIU is doing good and giving them a run for their money. From the international scene, quickly, uh, Lewis Hamilton, we all know Lewis Hamilton. Lewis is driving his last season for the Mercedes in Formula One. He will be joining Ferrari shortly. Big boy Cristiano Ronaldo has been banned by the Saudi Arabia Sports Federation for what he did. The Premier League returns this weekend. More sport action rolls out this week. So, ladies, I don't know where you're catching the Premier League, but I'll be catching it somewhere, but I'll first have to go see the Uganda Premier League. Thank you. See you in the night at City Oils. I don't know whether we can go and watch the game. Thank you so much, Katongole. And that brings us to the end of our show. Right, Melissa? Yes. Yes, please. But we say that the conversation Goes keeps on. on going and it's beyond the surface. It could be weather for you. It could be change. It could be positive vibes. True. See True. you next week.